recording. Hey, hi, hello, welcome back, Alexander and Codex. Victoria 2, uh, we're looking at the Concert of Europe mod. It's currently in, uh, Alpha 0.9, I think it's the current release, as of February 2020. So before I even click play, I'm just taking a look around. Now this mod's big appeal is right there in the name, 1815. The intention to uh, to roll start date back, huh? Huh? It's not done. Obviously, there's still I I haven't even read the patch notes or anything. Mexico is at war with Spain and is like very occupied by Spain. Okay, interesting. Let's hop in and check this shit out. Why not? Why am I playing as the U.S.? Well. Because I'm working on a mod that's focused on the U.S. And if I see shit I like, I'm gonna steal it. Or appropriate it. Or riff on it. Or whatever you want to call it. Okay, wow. So, 1815. And our borders are up to here. That's very generous. Uh, again, uh, first thing I'll say is... Actually, first thing I'll say is... Oh, that's why it's so fucking loud. Got reset to full volume. I'm I'm looking at my dashboard. I'm like, why is desktop audio so loud? That's why. Um, first thing I'll say, the United States did not have these borders in 1815. A lot of these. Can we go into the state map mode? Okay, yeah, a lot of these were in states. Louisiana. What I. Was Louisiana a state in 1815? Maybe? I thought that was a bit early for that. Uh, I don't have a core on Caribou? Hmm, I should. I very much should. But this is after the War of 1812. God, this is so weird. So the 18, the early 1800s were a really, really significant time in defining the fate of the American West. I mean, obviously, I talk about this a lot in my own uh, mod dev videos and posts, but, like, there was the Great Lakes Confederation? That There were, there were several major wars in the uh, modern Midwest against First Nations at this time. But, you know, Victoria 1 doesn't... Oh, God, okay, not a lot here. It's looking like the U.S. might not have gotten uh, much of a change. So, the tech is all the same. Just start out with less of it. That, you know, that kind of makes sense. Oh, fuck. What, what do I want to do? I want Enlightened Philosophy. I guess we don't have the slavery debate this early, huh? Interesting, yeah. I'm, I'm very curious to see how this plays differently. I'm imagining the U.S. gets Florida via event, and this probably gets sorted out by a, via event as well. Maybe. Possibly. You know, this this is actually a good reminder. I should give the Red River Colony cores on uh, this area because Red River Colony did actually extend this low. Sure, sure, that's that's actually this has already been productive. Um, bum, 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 bada, bum, bada, bum. To do our RC cores on old US holding yeah yeah okay that's something I can take away from this <laughs> uh, even if nothing else god it's been so long since I actually played Victoria 2 and wasn't just modding it okay uh, step one boats are for fools I ain't going overseas, and the only thing I'm colonizing, I think, let's move that away so I can actually see here, civilization, uh, no, uh, colonization, colonization, colonial map mode, yeah, okay, all of this is colonizable, none of this is colonizable because the life rating is 20, hmm, need bolt action rifle, and I do that immediately? 
Ouais. Breach loaded rifles, state and government, medicine. Medicine's the uh the earliest one, right? Yeah, breach loaded is here. Uh medicine is Oh my god, Alex. Here. What's the date on this? 1836. Wow, so we can't move on that until 1836. Interesting. I, you know, I don't, I don't hate this. Um, I really don't hate this. This is a really, this is one way to lock out expansion. It definitely is without introducing shit. But uh, do I like it? Mm, no, <laughs> no. It's, it's very interesting though. Okay, tell you what, we are. Right, they're called clergymen and not intellectuals in this mod. Gonna get those up to 2% is ideal, is that right? Alright, game. Game. 2%, yeah. Quirks we're not gonna promote. Just gonna work on literacy is step one. Do I have cores on anything? No cores. I have an army. <laughs> Just immediately get rid of the 7th regiment and, uh, oh, none of these can... Support armies either. Okay, we'll just go to DC, and you know what? We'll sort that out later. Uh, military spending. You know what? I don't think I'll be needing that anytime soon. The U.S. really didn't get in a lot of wars. The meta is to drop that. Uh, this is probably going to change. Yeah, yeah. This is drastically going to change because I don't have boats. I'm not building any, right? Okay, let's give it till the end of November. Why is the start date in November? We're losing great power status. Yeah, 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 yeah. Spanish Empire wants access? Nah. Nah. Who are we losing it to? The Netherlands. Yeah, well, okay. Whatever. We we don't have to be a great power from the uh from the get-go. Oh god, what's What's the ideal army composition? I haven't played this in so long. Uh, I've been modding the hell out of it, but I can't remember. Um, tell you what. Build army. I think I want one or two cavalry. God, I can't, I can't remember. So the reason we want cavalry is for the maneuver and the reconnaissance. The reconnaissance, mostly, right? Yeah, uh, because... Cav is the only thing that gets recon. Uh, specifically, I want... Here... You don't have... Uh... No, we want Hussars. Because Hussars have best reconnaissance until airplanes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I guess... Who are you? And then artillery. What's our combat with? Combat width is 29. 29? Okay, each of you have a width of... Doesn't say one? Can't be one. It could be one. They could have a combat width of one, because combat width gets smaller and smaller as this game goes on, rather than uh, EU4 where it gets wider and wider. Because, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... Yeah, that'll do, and then we just pop down one of these. Military spending, yeah, we'll just actually pay our army. Um, I don't know, like 30%? 35%? I would like to boost these. I'm okay with deficit spending for, honestly, for quite some time, because it's fine. No, Mexico, that, neither of you get military access. I'm assuming that this is scripted well enough that Mexico wins. Yeah, that, that may very well be a dangerous assumption. I guess let's make friends with the, the UK. Because why not? We have negative colonial power because we have so many colonies, yeah. Uh, let's get fish. I don't think militancy is really a problem right now. Because again, the slavery debate hasn't started, and I don't think it will start for quite some time. Yellow journalism. 
Oh, jingoism? Oh, no, God no, give me the prestige, not jingoism. It's... <laughs> Fuck no! It is not helpful or necessary, okay? That's 5 out of 10, I'm building 4 more. Uh, let's throw on another artillery there. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, uh, is... Libertarians love to point out the, uh, the U.S. did not actually have an income tax at this point. Taxes were collected more on an ad hoc basis. Or as needed basis. Uh, you know, honestly, drop defense spending down to 25%. This, this number and this number are very different. Now, this is assuming that we could actually buy all of the, uh... Yeah, all of the stuff that we can, but we can't actually get the artillery we want. So that's that's why that's, uh, not happening. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So what what's happening in the world? French Empire is still a thing. Yeah, the United States is probably the worst power to pick to play as in this time period because we have a whole lot of nothing going on. It's you know, kind of by design. Up, 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 up. Yep, that's too high. <laughs> Start seeing some red. You've gone too high. Okay, I don't love it, but that's fine. Do I want prestige? Yes, I mean, we were losing our great power status, so yeah, I'd really like some fucking prestige, please. Wow. Yeah, I guess it's it's set 20 years earlier than the uh, Victoria 2 initial start date, so it makes sense that artillery is obscenely expensive. Tell you what, I'll, uh... I'll drop this request to one artillery, and the rest, I'll take an infantry. Ready, please? Ah, there it is. <laughs> that is fair. The slavery debate did not start in 1836. It had been an ongoing undercurrent in uh, American politics since the founding of this country. And was just put off and put off and put off, just like we're putting so many other things off until the country reached a breaking point. Because God knows the United States is not good at actually fixing things, we're just good at putting things off until they become absolutely unavoidable. Steel production? Sounds very nice, thank you. Bum, 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 bum. I know I'm overspending on education and administration, and that's what's really hurting me, but... Wait, we have social spending? Your pensions? Really? Really? I have no pensions. But I have pensions. Okay. It's just all Native American miner over here. Well, that's one way to do it. God, I forgot. I forgot in Victoria too. There's like uh, three, yeah, three, four types of indigenous people. There are Native American miner. Zapotec is a thing. That's interesting. Nahua and Zapotec is two different things. I mean, yeah, but weird. Very weird. Okay, Alex, you've you've sufficiently fucked your economy. Yeah. Okay, tell you what, we're gonna cut all this back so that this actually realizes. Yeah, that we're not getting that. I can actually balance this. Um, just 85% tax on the poor. Yep, yep, that seems about right. Yep, 
Okay, great, beautiful, and that will allow me to- nope, nope, nope. <laughs> That's fine. The Anglo-American Convention of 1818. Ah, event description. I'm familiar with this. Yes, um, I who scores on all these things. Okay. Well, one of the following must be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. United States will lose cores on Medicine Hat Maple Creek for the load, and we'll get Minnow and Moorhead. So I'll get these, and they'll get these. Sure. Send it to our neighbors. Give me, give me that prestige. Okay, both of you are at 2%. So the way I like to play the United States is <laughs> new phone who dis. Uh, the way I like to play the U.S. and uh, pretty much all mods, or all uh, variations of Victoria 2, is just to be pretty pacifist, focus on educating my population and raking in those immigrants. Now, our starting pop is around two million. Is that right? Might be right. So the country's been around for about 40 years at this point. So it's still very, very new. Then, yeah, God, there's so many missed opportunities because the 18 teens and the 1820s had wars in here, wars in here, <laughs> wars in here, and we're all just uh, well by starting out with those provinces, we're kind of ignoring that. Yeah, sure, lumber mill. Why not? <laughs> Would you free those poor Native Americans from Mexican oppression and put them in free Indian reservations? Yeah, right. I I don't even know if Mexico will win this civil war, this war against Spain. Oh, Colombia looks like just declared independence. Oh, okay, so maybe they will win. I, I have no idea what this mod entails or doesn't entail, or if they've even gotten around to meaningfully adding stuff for the United States. I'm mostly just here to steal stuff, and uh, frankly, I needed to stream so I could pump up the backlog for YouTube, and this way I get to combine kinda sorta doing some work for my mod, and having fun playing a game instead of working on a game. <laughs> So our economy is just, like, garbage. <laughs> Absolute trash right now. I, I'm i relating it to, uh... Yeah, you know what? Secular. Let's be secular. Pushing the start date back to 1815 lets me, uh... Really start impacting the ideology of the U.S. Pretty significantly. I'd love to have my mod roll back to 18... 15 is the start date, but um, I don't want to do all of this. All of this horseshit. So, uh, most of the <laughs> uninformed white dude changes I talked about for South America were resource changes. Uh, Argentina, in particular, had, had and has quite a few gold rushes in that time period, which Victoria 2 doesn't model, I think, and I don't believe the HPM has added, so kind of want to add that. Um, a couple of gold rushes in other places as well. Uh, much, much later on there were like some invasions and some interesting stuff I wanted to play with, but right now it's mostly like, hmm, resource changes, which is not the most exciting thing. But when I was looking at lists of gold rushes by year, Argentina kept popping up. <laughs> it's like, really? I didn't, didn't realize that was a thing. And yes, that was a, a big thing. I... <laughs> wow, our, uh... I just, I just noticed this. Our political parties are Democrats, 
and Southern Democrats. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. <laughs> Uh, the year is 1820, we've discovered how to make artillery. Yes, yeah, so that's right, all the uses of artillery up to this point never happened. Yeah, oil rushes, those two, but there were a few gold rushes. But of course, I don't really have any context for how big they actually were, or weren't, or anything else. So, I mean, I'm already kind of outside my area of expertise when I'm pontificating on what resources should go where with the U.S., even in places that I've lived? So, what, ammunition factories? Okay, man, I gotta say, having these states start out without the ability to make ammo factories or artillery factories, it's a weird choice. Or small arms factories? 1820, we just learned how to make guns. That's a very, very weird choice. I, I get that they wanted to uh, highlight that things weren't as technologically advanced without entirely remaking the tech tree, but weird. Very weird. Okay, no wonder why I wasn't able to build up our army anymore. There were no guns! <laughs> Ah, uh, we're about to lose our great power status. That's fine, we'll get it back. It is only a matter of time. So I have to move focus from there. Hop on down here, get you some clergymen. Maybe fish in some parts of the coast. Yeah. Nah, don't you know? Oh, oh my god, this fucking mod has fish here. They have fish here. Why the fuck does Base Vicky 2 not? Am I wrong about that? Did, did they change the... Yeah, they did. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Look at all this coal. Holy shit. Yeah, alright. This, uh, this mod author has actually looked at... Pretty interesting stuff. I don't know about the iron up here in Alabama. Meanwhile, there's no iron over here. I hope that's unlocked by like a yearly event or something. Iron up here? Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, would love to hear their thoughts on why they did this. It's probably in their patch notes. I will probably read that later. But for now, the United States is made of coal. Ooh, new political party. Ooh boy, is it the Whigs? Nope. Just kidding. No new political party. Big joke. Big joke. Listless unemployed. Um, build reform support. Yeah, build reform support in Oklahoma. Okay, there shouldn't be Cherokee in Oklahoma in 1821. There, there absolutely shouldn't. Those, uh, <laughs> those relocation um, efforts weren't started until the 1830s. So it looks like maybe the mod author hasn't gotten around to uh, hasn't gotten around to fucking with this yet. But that, that ain't right. That ain't right at all. Okay, yes. Event description 7302. Yeah, I'm assuming that gave us or Florida. It sure did. Ooh, I can make a state in Arkansas way early. We are not extending slavery in Missouri. No slavery. Yes, all of these states definitely got their statehood in 1821. Ah, uh, Illinois isn't that far off, but... Do not extend slavery. Do not extend slavery. So once we get up to probably 1836, we're, we've probably seen everything that this mod has to offer, but I, I'm still going to play for a while anyway. At least, at least an hour on this before, I don't know, pivoting to something else. And what's that something else, Alex? I don't, I don't fucking know. I, oh god, the middle class. They need money. Yeah, they do. They need to not be taxed so harshly, but the... Listen. Wait, what? 
I had given myself alone. Huh. Again, wh what? Who is this pension going to? We don't have pensions. Great Liberia. Sure. Yeah, why not? Trail of Tears. No. It's just a bad decision. Does it give... It doesn't even give prestige. Just... No! <laughs> that event sucks. Hey, Liberia, you can now sit here for the rest of the game and do nothing because it's all you do. Okay, some of these are new. This just looks weird. Huh. It's an interesting concept for a mod, moving the start date back, but so far it hasn't been too meaningfully different. That's a hell of a lot of work changing all of that, uh, hey, I'm a great power again, ooh, changing all of that is a lot of work. Do I want to do these? Not really, we're not going to war anytime soon. Fly range. I... Yeah, you know what? Give me, give me prestige gain. Thrilling. Yeah, right. This this event is pro. You can RP genocide. Con. Everything else. And this isn't this mod author. This is paradox. <laughs> In, it's very weird. Like, ah, uh, yeah, they gain consciousness but lose militancy, but their militancy isn't a problem. Why, why? I, I, I absolutely agree. It's important when we make games about history that we portray things that have happened in history. Yeah, I would agree with that. But uh, Paradox, why are you putting in genocide events into Victoria 2, but then Hearts of Iron 4 you completely shy away from any mention of the Holocaust or accountability for that, like, at all. It's a hell of a double standard. And you know, that might be a big reason why they uh, don't want to make Vicky 3, is... Ah, back to liberals, hell yeah. Um, there's a lot of iffy stuff you gotta deal with in this time period. But again, to be fair, same thing goes for World War II, and they seem more than happy to just kind of glibly ignore that. <laughs> hey, Colorado can be a state. Oh, not a state. State, not a state. Yeah. Okay, this is way too early to be making these states, but I'm not fighting it. I'm going with it. I can live with this. Chimney Sweeps. Uh, yeah, you know what? We should consider doing something about that. Is there a movement yet? Suffrage movement. Good, good luck. Kansas, do not extend slavery. Uh, hey, everybody lose consciousness. <laughs> Entire United States fell unconscious last night. Hmm. Yeah, you like how the closest PDX gets to mentioning the Holocaust is Hitler using gold from Annex Country to pay for bills. Yeah. Yeah, that was a really weird addition. Oh, oh, now, now is Germany. You can keep, uh, keep up these bills. And, uh, one way to get them to quit from defaulting so early is invading other countries. Like, uh, yes, invading other countries and taking gold from, from who in those countries exactly? From, from what p particular group in the... What, what segment of the population, huh? No? No? Okay, yeah, we'll just... I... there's a lot of... I get that they just want to make a war game, and war games sell well, and World War II is, you know, attractive for a lot of reasons to a lot of different groups of people, and they just kind of want to capitalize on that without being overly political, but you, you have to be political, right? Like... You can't not be political. In not being political, you are being political. Just display the bobble somewhere locally. 
Nah, dude, give me the prestige. That is literally all we have going on right now. Hey, um, do me a favor. Open all of these. Subsidize none of them. Yeah, that that looks nice. The Tuscalo... Oh, okay. This is part of Florida, correct? No? <laughs> Wait, what did we just get a core on? Vicksburg? What? That, that's in Tennessee, isn't it? Wait, 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 Vicksburg. Yes, Vicksburg. This thing I've had a core on. Oh no, okay, okay. That's right. We did start out with uh, Alaska and Mississippi. Alaska, Alabama, and Mississippi not having cores on them. This is Alaska now. Just a prank, bro. It's from the National Treasury. Yeah. Totally. It's, uh, that's how that works. Yeah. Okay, South Dakota. Wow, okay, I... I've been working so long on my mod, I've been questioning... Is this even fun? Like, is, does this add anything to the game, integrating the First Nations and the United States and North America differently? Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, it's so much better than this. It's so much better than just, uh... Meh, meh, meh. I you just click a button, it becomes a state, and you've owned all of this forever. Oh, yep, yep, I'm very contentedly sure I made the right choice there. Sweet home Alaska Nana. <laughs> yeah. Future of the economy, state capitalism. Oh, hey, look, the conservative and reactionary parties voted together. Huh. Huh. I guess liberalism wasn't invented yet. We, we literally don't have the Whigs, one of the founding parties of the United States. Nah, no Whigs here. No, can't, can't help you, boss. Never heard of them. Weird choice, but okay. Alright. Sure, game. Why not? Great cholera. Love it. Love it. Why, why wouldn't I just be enthusiastic about that? Yeah, I'm, that, that's part of the problem. Um, me applying my system that I'm using in North America to anywhere in South America, or even most of Central America? I don't... The, the map would just be hell to look at, right? Totally, one day a decision becomes green and you eat entirety of Patagonia. Yeah, exactly. It... I mean, to be fair... It's about the same as, uh, Victoria 2 does it, except in Victoria 2 you get to click this button, and then wait a couple years, then you click this button, and wait a couple years, and click this button, wait a couple years, and then you get to click this, and then it turns your color. <laughs> I, yeah, I, uh, eventually want to go in and add events that add some, I don't know, minutia, some chances for the AI to resist, but, I mean, just mechanically, they can't. Victoria 2 is set up in such a way that these, uh, these poor nations really do not have much of a chance to survive at all when faced against economic powerhouses like the United States. And as much as I don't like that, yeah, just tax the poor 100%. Okay, no, that's that's not gonna fly. Wait, gold? We are not producing any gold. Okay, so that's a missed opportunity. 1828, let's see if it happens. If they do 
If they do have the uh, Georgia Gold Rush pop off in 1828, I will be thoroughly impressed. 1828 was actually a big deal in that, uh, well, let's basically de defund the entire military. Should have done that a long time ago, and it barely made a drop in the bucket. Okay, yep. Yeah. You know what? No more military spending. Did it help? Not really. Right, because military spending also cut the, uh, the wages for people in the military, and if their wages are cut, then they can't pay taxes on those wages. I, I gotta say, this doesn't seem particularly well balanced. Uh, eh, eh, yeah, this is the danger of fucking with the, uh, the economy, is... This ain't right. <laughs> this ain't right at all. Yeah, I, it's the last one that is so often the case for a lot of places in the Americas. Just like, well, I guess enough farmers live there now that it's yours. Like, it can, uh, the United States, a lot, a lot of uh, First Nations were like, oh yeah, I guess you can settle on our land or come through here. Sure, why not? Like, we can share this. And then a certain amount of Americans got there, and then the government swept in and like, hey, guess what? This is this is ours now. You're on American land. And like, oh, that's not what we agreed to. But in this kind of top-down uh, game, you can't you can't model that as well. What do I want here? Honestly, can I have? Commerce, uh, no. Admin efficiency, maybe, honestly. Yeah, give me this for the tax. We need more tax efficiency. Things are like real bad right now. Real bad. <laughs> I swear I normally pay way better than this. We're the fifth greatest power, too, in our economy, is this absolute garbage. Our, our industry is the seventh best in the world. Good God. What's wrong with the world? I have three, four, five, sometimes six profitable factories. And that makes America number one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I... <laughs> One problem I have with the system that I'm making is there's not a huge advantage to peacefully integrating natives or signing treaties. Right? Mechanically, it might actually be more beneficial if you just, in 1845, as soon as you get cores, go on a non-stop war across the West, because that way you get access to those pops more quickly, you get access to those resources more quickly and that money more quickly. The The only downside is, and the AI is too stupid to manage this, being at war, as the United States or any American country, is bad in Victoria 2. It's bad because one of the biggest, i.e. the biggest, way that your population grows... Um, is this going to show it? Yeah, is from... Migration. While well, we are only getting 35 from migration, that's still... What? Um, rounded up to 40. That's still a quarter. Right? That's about... That's almost a quarter. Is that right? 40 would be one quarter of 160. Yeah, we're almost a quarter of our population growth is from people from overseas coming here. And that's what we want. <laughs> So, the AI going on these non-stop wars across the West is actually hurting the U.S. So, that's a thing, but that's a thing on the back end, right? That isn't the most in-your-face, most obvious uh, thing to take into consideration. When you're playing, right, the obvious offset is uh, people generally don't want to move to a warmongering country. Well, I say that, but, you know, people still move to the U.S. all the time. Uh, 
yeah, yeah. Whoa, 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 UK's number two? The French Empire's number one, oh, of course. Along with... Napoleon? What is the question mark? I don't... I don't know who's in charge of the French Empire right now. Umpire, Empire, Empire. No, not Napoleon. Uh, is this... Like, Napoleon III, maybe? I do not know. Yeah, the U.S. does do its wars outside of its own borders these days. True. True. Oh, we're gaining liberals. Oh boy, we're getting there. Um, hey, with no French holdings here. Oh. Sure. Why not? Oh, fuck. Why? Um, why did I forget about this? Shit, shit, fuck. <laughs> I haven't been uh, adding things to our sphere of influence at all. I kind of forgot that that was a mechanic. That's a hugely important mechanic. And it's fine. Interesting but stupid timeline. Napoleon the second doesn't die at 21. Yeah, right. I I'd really like if Vicky 2 had rulers in the game at all. <laughs> so you could see the impact of that sort of thing. But um okay. Am I going to go to war with them? Fuck no. I That's one of my least favorite events in Victoria 2 is, Oh, grievous insults from these people halfway across the world. Are we going to go to war over this? No. No, we're not going to war over this. This would be a huge waste of time. Yeah, I'd love... Especially with the elections. Oh, right! This is something I wanted to program in, and I have no idea if it's possible to. I wanted to, um... Make it so that when an election cycle happens, you actually have to pick between the two presidents. And depending on who you pick, it will have impacts on different things. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's a great idea. <laughs> Can't imagine who thought of it. Um, I have no idea how the fuck I'm going to program that. But that's, that's way down the road. Way down the road. Right now I'm just trying to make the, uh, just trying to get the map right. Citizenship. Well, Haiti. The Dominican Republic wasn't... They weren't independent yet. They weren't independent for quite some time. Yeah, okay, okay, whatever. It's <laughs> Don't be mean to the game, Alex. Oh, we could declare war on the East India Company. What could go wrong? Okay, so 1828 has gone by. Florida isn't... Or, Florida, Georgia isn't producing gold. That's a shame. It should be. But that's okay. Hmm. Be the local four, why not? Well, we're almost to 1836, and while it seems like there's some interesting stuff happening in the rest of, well, I say the rest of the world, in South and Central America mostly, I. I'm not seeing much, dog. I'm, I'm really not seeing much. I, I guess I expected if they were gonna add 20 years of history, there'd be more to it, but. That would kind of an unfair expectation. If it just does what it says on the tin, pushes the start date, date back 20 years, that's noteworthy and uh, desirable in and of itself. You don't have to rework mechanics. I was just hoping for just just a little more, just a little more, please. Please, more, more history. 
All right, tell you what, at the... Once we hit 1836, because that's gonna be before the hour mark at this point. They're attacking the Bahamas? What? What? I should have read that more carefully. That... That did not seem right. More national focuses... Sure. Sure, yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll actually go and read the patch notes to figure out what the fuck they've actually done. <laughs> this, this, is, this is a blind look. And to be fair, you know. I was about to say, I'm being too critical. Is, is Karl Marx Karl Marx uh, famous famous for publishing the Communist Manifesto in 1830 uh huh uh huh the 1830 well that means I think what Oh, I need an active party with the socialist ideology. Okay, something fucking weird just happened in Poland. Um... I mean, I dig it. It ain't right, but I dig it. Fine. Fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is America. We don't subsidize things. I mean, we are subsidizing like all the things but no 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 that's where so much of my money was going please we don't believe in the handouts that's socialism and apparently socialism is for Poland I I have questions <laughs> I have I have many questions as to how the hell that could have happened Yep, yep, socialist plus 0.149%. Uh, okay. I mean, hey, I love it. Personally, I'm all about it. Fuck yeah, give me... Give me early 1800s socialism. Fuck yeah, but... I can't believe that's working as intended. I... I'm very sure that's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> oh wow, this is a real trip. So, uh, we don't have a socialist party, and we won't have a socialist party for quite some time, but if socialism keeps growing, then... <laughs> then I wonder if a socialist movement could uh, overthrow us and make us have a socialist government. Huh. Now, you might be right, but I don't think so. I, So far as I've seen in all of Victoria 2's events and decisions, rather than saying meantime to happen 24 months uh, between this day and this day, which is a thing, most of them just say a year for a date that it can happen starting at, but yeah, you could be right there. This this mod has been worked on for like six years at this point. For quite a few years. It's only one person working on it, so I don't want to be too harsh. But you would have had to not play test the game at all to not find that bug. <laughs> at all. But, you know, it, it happens. Yeah, we're just, we're going socialist. Hell yeah. I'm about it. I can't encourage socialism, but um, I'm here for it. Or you in 2%, 2%. <laughs> I love it. 
Oh, hey, I should, uh, maybe get some uh, technologies going on here. Uh, more commerce. Yeah, yeah, that'd be nice. I want medicine, pretty please. Cannot have the medicine, so let's go for market structure. Let's structure those markets. All these are already in my sphere. I didn't realize I had added the Dominican Republic. Well, okay. North America. Everything has been added to my... Ooh. Venezuela. Don't mind if I do. You don't have much valuable right now, but don't worry, Venezuela. In about 200 years, we're going to send mercenaries down there to depose your legally elected president because... Uh, something, something... Socialism. Um, okay, wow. I can already pass some social reforms. That's fucking crazy. You want low minimum wage? I say yes. Deconstruct the markets. Overthrow the bourgeoisie. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is very strange. I'm I'm into it. I'm very confused by it though. Again, important reminder. Still no Whigs. We still have no Liberal Party. Is it... Maybe they'll be here in 1836? <laughs> Maybe not? <laughs> it's making me feel a lot better about the, the state of my mind. <laughs> ah, yes, you have more conservatives? Fuck no. Go ahead, get mad, die mad, see if I care. I would play EU4, but I'm just waiting until Emperor comes up, because that actually has some shit I'm interested in. Yep, Socialist is up, Liberal is up, Conservatism continues to crash. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Very cool, but very strange. No libtardism, oh no. How do we give money to our corporate backers to act like we're doing it for the people? To be fair, liberalism was the, uh, the, the underlying philosophy of even the conservative parties of the United States since its inception. So... This structure is a little weird. I say a little weird. It's fucking bonkers. <laughs> that's, that's fine, I guess. That's what it is. Uh, there are no gods. Actually, there are no gods will attract people to communism rather than socialism. Don't, don't necessarily want that. It's the United States, at least, because if you go communist... I'm gonna go for coal production? Now, normally I'm not that into it. Oh, yeah. Uh... 15% more socialist? Shit, yeah. Normally coal production is important, but not, like, huge. But because of the number of coal provinces we have here... Uh, yeah, pretty big. Pretty important. No gods. No. Wait a minute, I saw a third party. Do, do we finally have the wigs? We do! In 1833, the wigs. We still can't win an election because of the way our government is set up. That's fine. That's, that's totally fine. Man, the slavery debate only goes until 1847. That's, um... That ain't right either. So that probably is set up in the same way that it only lasts a certain number of years. That should go until the 1860s. Okay, so my uh, my assumption at this point is they never actually got around to uh, they have not yet gotten around to the United States. So that's fair. Still, still had one takeaway today that I'm gonna add to my mod is the Red River Colony should have cores on uh, these because they did have that at one point.
Yeah. South America was basically liberals with tons of money wanted rigged elections versus liberals with less money that wanted free elections. Yeah. I mean, that, that's mostly what the United States history has been. It's, um... Only rich people should vote, or we should have a republic. No, we should have a democracy. If you're white, and Christian, and own land. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Yeah, great. That's, uh... Totally reasonable constraints. Absolutely not. Very restrictive. My god, look at this budget. Look at this budget. Let's just... Okay, not that much. I thought that said the North Pole patrimony for a second. I'm like, uh, what? No, North Platte. Did they at least get this border right? Uh, kind of. Oh, they're using the Victoria Two Provinces, so this isn't their fault. I mean, kind of is, but it's mostly not. Oh shit, too many clergy over here. Yep, just socialism is growing. That's the only thing that's growing. Hell yeah. Weird. Very weird. Well, okay, we're... We're at an hour. I'm gonna keep this going until 1836, just so I can be sure that they haven't added anything new for America. Then I'll actually read the patch notes and see what they have done, and maybe jump over to a country they've actually done something with. Hey, Tejas! Once... Sure, instant... Instant Texas integration. 1835. Yep. Yep. Very historically accurate. Wait a minute, we didn't just get Texas. We got Santa Fe and Los Don't question it, Alex. Just, just, just let it go. Let it go. It's fine. <laughs> it doesn't seem fine. It's fine. Yes, 1835 United States. This is definitely what it looks like. We should probably start... No, no. If I were playing this longer, I would absolutely want to start funding a military soon so that we can get that whole Manifest Destiny shit going on and start poking at Mexico. I am playing this that much longer because uh, we're almost 1836 and... Man, again, we don't have a core here, so this breaks the event that uh, is the Webster-Ashburton Treaty. Quite odd. Quite odd. Ah, this is an interesting mod. Aesthetically, at face value, but I'm I'm not sure what all it's added. Like it's pushed the start date date back and it's added Well some successful revolutions. Uh Spanish South America here not looking so hot. Yeah, Venezuela or Argentina should be a lot of fun because of the uh, the whole breakaway from Spain thing. It looks like the revolt in the Spanish Empire is probably the biggest thing. Hold on. What army was that? Was that my army I just selected? Oh, uh, that's fair. I have been... Okay, 1836 is come and gone, and now we're just in Victoria too. 13% socialism in the upper house. Uh, this is working perfectly, perfectly. Not, not a problem at all. Good God, I love it. This is all kinds of fuck. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of. I genuinely am excited about the potential of pushing back the start date and how much more actively you can manipulate the direction of the United States because the U.S. population is still sort of small at this point. It's only 2 million at game start, so if you start making major ideological changes, those ripple out a lot more significantly than you do if you start in 1836. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, say goodbye to this. I'm gonna put in a cut here. I'm gonna keep streaming? Yeah. No, 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 no. Before I put in a cut, let's read the actual fucking patch notes rather than, uh, you good? Bruh? Bruh? Okay. 
Is it working? Is it not? Who knows? Oh, it didn't crash. And then it minimized. Okay, so let's read what they're actually doing here. New start date, 1815, the day the Treaty of Paris was signed. Oh, completely reworked terrain map. I didn't really look at that. New province map with over 1,500 provinces, so not so much in the U.S., but okay, fair enough. Reworked water map. We did not take a look at that. Completely reworked population. You know what? That's fair. That's fair. That is true, and that is fucking exhausting. I will, I will handily grant you that. Reworking the population would be insanely difficult, particularly with native populations, because even trying to get those accurate up to the 1830s is hard. Uh, going back further from that is even more difficult. New regions, rework Cassis belly system that stops you from taking land you can't even reach. Okay, I fine, very weird, oddly specific thing. Population migration system actually places treats places like northern Siberia and Sahara Desert as unattractive places to move. That's interesting. I want to take a look at how that works, but to do that, I'm going to have to look at the code. Many new cultures and nations around the world. Not so much in North America, but okay. Dozens of events to simulate independence wars, treaties, conferences, blah, 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 blah. okay. Rework coring system. You only get cores on land with your primary or accepted culture. Huh. Lower soldier count from colonies. Stop nations from the UK. I love that. I love that idea. Um, okay, well, you know, interesting. Gun, you haven't actually posted what these do. Description, bug test version. Okay, see the readme. Ah, uh, dog, you gonna? No, no, I'm not reading the readme. Fine, fine, I'll read the readme. Give me. This. Okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. Uh, we go into downloads. We open up bug test. Do, 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 do. Let's see what you've actually done. Concert of Europe is a mod for yada yada. Known bugs. Many flags are wrong or don't use the modern ones. No, 1836. And yeah. Yep. Some vanilla events and decisions. Okay. Okay. Yes. This is a very. Uh, soft way to say that you broke a lot of events. Okay. Mod uses 1836 population most places. Yeah. Yeah. This is a shame. It's a very cool idea, but it's not there and they have a lot, a lot of work to do. Oh, they set socialism to enable in 1830. You did that on purpose? Okay. Uh, Marx wasn't born. Marx was 12 years old in 1830. Hmm. Socialism. Maybe maybe I'm wrong about this. Uh, the history of socialism. I mean, there were some like proto-socialist stuff in that time, but until the Communist Manifesto was written in 1848. Scientific socialism wasn't so much a thing. Yeah, okay, you know what? That that's that's kind of valid. Mm, sorta. The word socialist dates from 1822. So there's an argument. Chartism was flourishing from 1838 to 1858. Huh. Huh. Okay, you know what? I like that enough. I, I genuinely like that enough. I learned a little bit today. Well, actually, I knew this. I just forgot about this. Move up socialism, communism, date. In the US, particularly in the uh, early 19th century, there were communes, literal communes, that were trying to set up uh, liberal socialist utopias. Uh, they, you know, maybe then it works super well, but that is a thing. So, okay, okay, fair enough. Fair enough, Vicky2Mod. Um, 
I may have judged you too harshly. Although Vicky 2 is going to crash here, isn't it? Yep. All right. We're just going to throw that up there. If you're watching on YouTube, hey, this is it for today. I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to stream next, but I am going to stream something because it would be shameful for me to just stream for an hour and then fucking run. Um, yeah, till tomorrow. Toodaloo. Take care. See you then. Bye-bye.